this is where we learn to fish right here and like say how many days we would fish in the summer and not catch a fish yeah well i fish so. all that one summer just before they shut the river down and morning and night yep it was it was just being on the river and have a chance to catch one right we had the time on the river our kids and grandkids should have that time on the river too they future generations it. for sure they deserve it is this the last year the smoke go down we don't know when the salmon's got to be extinct and we don't want that it's it's unacceptable to do nothing they're here let's do it let's do what we got to do you know they're here and if we can save what's here and the river's healthy. Right? Yeah, we have beautiful water. Lots we got, water. you know, the, the water's good. Lots of boats, as you guys can see. <laughs> <laughs> We've got the right partners now. You know, with right from DFO to Acadia University to Cooks. You know, we got everybody in play. No noise, there is no smell. There's an automated feeding system. And the fish will pack and just gracefully <laughs> swimming around the pan. Non-stressed fish. <laughs> non and they inspect the impact below the cages on a regular basis. Yep. My property runs right out to the end of Beach Meadows Beach and we walk the beach. My wife walks it a lot more than I do. I've, I've never seen anything, never smelled anything. And you can see the site, but it's just out there. You see it and then you just turn away. It's like you see a wharf or you see houses on Coffins Island. It's part of what's around us. Fantastic. Very impressive, really. But it's a real education to be able to come out and experience all this and, and uh, you know, learn all that we have learned. Oh, absolutely, to get the facts.